In my last video I was showing you how to set up a simple sidechain effect using a table on the Dirty Wave M8 and I was talking about the table tick speed quite a lot and this morning I thought I really wanted to understand the maths behind this so several pieces of paper later, several cups of tea and coffee and biscuits later I have sorted it all out. I've made a chart which looks like this and I'll put a link to this in this video and you'll be able to download it from my Dropbox which will completely demystify the whole business of the table tick speed and its relation to the speed of the phrase. Just a few terms here. The word tick means the smallest amount of time on the M8, which is 1 96th of a bar. So it's a very small amount of time. And the phrase, of course, is a bar of music on the M8, a bar of 4-4. And a step in the phrase adds up to a semiquaver. If I just take you to the M8, and we'll take you to a normal phrase view. This is a phrase, and every single one of these is a step, and it's worth a semiquaver. So that's a step in the phrase. So these are the steps on the table, and as you will see, they don't add up to the same thing as the steps in the phrase, unless the table tick speed is at a specific amount, and we'll get to that in a moment. So the table tick speed by default is set to 0 one which is the fastest speed you can have very very fast so what does it actually mean let's go to our chart and you can see that a table tick speed of one which is one in decimal and one in hexadecimal means that every tick in the phrase equals one step in the table so one phrase step, one step in the phrase, which is a semiquaver, is therefore worth six table steps. So because of this, with a table tick speed of one, the table runs at six times faster than the phrase. So if you like, a phrase is one sixth of a complete cycle of the table. Let's go back to our M8. We've got the table tick speed set to one. Let's see what we've got in this actual song. We've got two tracks. Track one contains the synth and track two contains the kick drum, which I've got set to a four on the floor, which is this. Just as a reference, so you can see something happening on all the beats of the bar. One, two, three, four. Let's look at track one, chain 10, phrase 10, and this has got one note in it, a C4. I'm using a simple synth on this. If we go to the synth, it's a wave synth. and you can see the table tick is set to one. Go over to the table by pressing shift and right. So in the note column, I put zero, zero on step naught. So that means this will be the same as the note in the actual phrase. On step one, I put zero, four, which is four semitones up from that note. And then on step two, I put zero, seven, which is seven semitone steps up from that note. So I've got 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 7. So what that means is 0, 0 is the same as the note in the phrase, which is C. And then 0, 4 will give me an E and 0, 7 will give me a G. So I've got three notes, C, E and G, giving me a C major chord. Now at this speed, you're hardly going to hear any separation between those three notes. Have a listen. It's just almost imperceptible that there are three notes there. But put the kick drum in as well. And you can hear that's pretty useless, but it does at least demonstrate how fast table tick speed one is. I put that kill in there, by the way, so that the whole thing stops and doesn't keep ringing. So we've got a C major chord, but we can't hear it at all, can we? Let's go back to our chart and we've got table tick speed one, table tick speed three. Let's jump to table tick speed of six and we'll come back to three and I'll show you why. Table tick speed of six is the same in decimal as it is in hexadecimal. With this table tick speed, the speed of the table, if you like, it means that every six ticks in the phrase, the normal bar, equals one step of our table. So one phrase step, a semi-quaver, equals one table step. So in real terms, it means that the table is running at the same speed as the phrase. So that one phrase equals one table cycle. So we go back to our M8 and we'll change the speed to six. Table tick speed up to six. Now, if we run it, you can hear some separation. Now I've put the kick drum in as well. Here it's running in time with it. Just look at the table.
So that is a table tick speed of six, same speed as the phrase. Look at the playhead and you'll see the table is running through at the same speed as the phrase, you see? Let's put the kick drum as well. There's the phrase, there's the table, no difference in the speed. That is table tick speed of six, same as the phrase. One phrase equals one table cycle. A cycle of the table means going through the table once, okay? So it follows that table tick speed of three, the one above it, means the table is running twice as fast as the phrase. So one phrase step, a semiquaver, equals two table steps. So half a phrase gives you one table cycle. Let's go back to our M8 and we'll set that. Go back to the instrument. Remember the table tick is set in the instrument, not in the table. Let's take this down to 03 by holding edit and left. Now we'll run this and it's pretty quick, isn't it? Put the kick drum in as well. There's the table. And then halfway through it's re-triggering. So here we are with the table running. And so it gets re-triggered because you have to remember that every time that the table sees this C4 come up, it will re-trigger, it will go back to the beginning of the table. So it really depends on what you want. If you want something that's going to run really quickly, then you choose a table tick speed below six. So obviously you can have table tick speeds that run slower than the phrase. So anything above six is going to run slower. Let's just double this and go to 12. So table tick speed 12 in decimal, which is naught C or C in hexadecimal. And with this table tick speed, every tick in the phrase equals one twelfth of a step in the table. See the 12 over here? So 12 ticks, one quaver if you like, equals one table step. So one phrase step, a semi-quaver, equals half a table step. So in real terms, this is the, the bit you want to grasp. The table is running half the speed of the phrase. So with the table tick speed of 12, or C if you prefer an hexadecimal, the table is running half the speed of the phrase. So you need two complete phrases for one table cycle. Let's do that on the M8. Let's set this to 12. So we're on three, so we hold edit and write. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now 10, of course, is A. 11 is B, 12 is C. So naught C is 12. So our table tick speed is essentially 12 in decimal, naught C in hexadecimal. So it'll be a bit slower now. Every time it sees that note at the beginning of the bar in the phrase, at C4, it will re-trigger. Kick drum as well. In my last video, I had a table on one instrument triggering the volume of a an instrument in another track. Obviously not doing that here, it's all contained within the same instrument. This is the synthesizer and we're sending out this note flurry on the same instrument in the same track. Okay, so it's pretty interesting I think. So that is a table tick speed of 12. Let's jump up to 24, let's double it. So a table tick speed of 24 in decimal is 18 in hexadecimal, it's very confusing I know. And I have done videos on hexadecimal and I've done videos on ticks, how the M8 ticks, that, that particular video is. So if you want to know about ticks a bit more, then look at that video. So with this particular table tick speed, 24 or 18, every tick in the phrase is worth 1 24th of a step in the table. So here's our 24, see, 1 24th of a step in the table. So 24 ticks, which is one crotchet, equals one table step one of those 16 table steps. So one phrase step, which is a semi-quaver, equals one quarter of a table step. So in real terms, with a table tick speed of 24, the table is running at a quarter of the speed of the phrase. So with this table tick speed, you would need four phrases for one table cycle. So it would take four normal bars of four four to go past before you had one of the table cycles. Let's change that on the M8. So we'll put this up to 18, which is 24. And here we go. Much slower now. 
kick drum in. So as you bring up the speed of the table tick, you slow the speed down of the table against the speed of the phrase. So every time the phrase, the normal phrase, delivers this C4 note, then the table will re-trigger. There it is on the phrase. There it is on the table. Re-trigger. Re-trigger. So we'll do one more. Obviously you can do anything in between these. You don't have to have six, you can have seven. This is just keeping it nice and musical in terms of semi-quavers and quavers and crotchets and minims and so forth. So the last example is a table tick speed of 48, which is 30 in hexadecimal. And with this table tick speed, every tick in the phrase is worth 1 48th of a step in the table. Very slow. Here's our 48, you see, 1 48th. So in other words, 48 ticks, one minim, if you like, equals one table step. So one phrase step, a semi-quaver, equals 1 8th of a table step. So in real terms, with a table tick speed of 48, the table is an eighth the speed of the phrase. So you'd need eight phrases, eight normal bars for one complete table cycle to go past. So we'll implement that on the M8. So we want 30 because 30 is 48. Now notice it gets to the end of the phrase before it has a chance to get to that third note. And this is where you need to bolt on extra bars. Stephen McLeod's done a really good video on these really long notes in tables. And I'll put a link to his video in my description of this video. And uh, check his video out, it's brilliant, it's quite long. He goes into tables in real detail. I've just done this because I wanted to tie it in with my previous video. So there we are, table tick speed and how it relates to the speed of the phrase. And it is, a, like I say, a bit of a brain burner, but hopefully I've taken that away from you. And all you've got to do is keep a copy of this chart handy until you've grasped the whole idea. And basically anything from one to five is going to be faster than the speed of the phrase. Anything above six is going to be slower than the speed of the phrase. And obviously with a table tick speed of six, the speed of the table is the same as the speed of the phrase or the the bar if you like. Hope you found that interesting. I hope I haven't fried your brain. <laughs> I may have done. I'm so sorry if I have. But I think it's important to get a grasp on this, get a hold on this. If you have any questions, do let me know. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. If you got to the end, you did very well. And you'll see me in my next video.